This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome back to our special Buttershots.com series on upgrading from Windows XP to Windows 7. In this segment, we're going to look at a few of the things you might want to think about before you start. One thing you might want to look at is downloading the Windows 7 Upgrade Advisor. It can tell you whether your PC is capable of running Windows 7 or not. Now, if you're already running one of the release candidates of Windows 7, then you should have no problem running Windows 7. But if you're not certain and you haven't looked at Windows 7 yet, then you'll want to download this. Another thing you want to do before you start is download Securable, which will tell you information about your processor, whether it's 32-bit, 64-bit, whether it supports hardware virtualization, and so on. And another thing you might want to download first is Windows Easy Transfer for XP. This is what will transfer some of your settings for Internet Explorer and Outlook to your Windows 7 installation. Keep in mind once again that regardless of the option that you choose, you will have to install all of your programs and data. Another thing you want to do is back up your programs and data, and we'll talk about that in the next segment. Keep in mind that this is a multiple part series, and be sure to watch all of the parts.